is there something else? I don't think there's anything else that we're supposed to find since our goal says when you're ready. Um, and the goal of uh, search for clues is has a check mark next to it. So I guess we found everything we're supposed to find. Although, um, I do wonder. I mean, we just leave Brian here and, you know, just leave him here. I mean, that one note that we found, we barely found it, man. Just happened to get lucky that the mouse cursor kind of glanced over it when I was moving the, the mouse around, so. Fascinating. I don't think there's anything else, though. Well, let's see what happens if we leave this room. I kind of feel bad, though, just leaving without saying goodbye. But, um, thanks for your help, Brian. I should get going. Okay. Should we... Would you mind terribly if I stayed here to read these books? Well, this is... it's private property, isn't it? Obnoxious isn't coming back, and I've been itching for a chance to peruse his library for years now. I promise I won't remove anything or make a mess. Um... You know, he did help us. He was very helpful. Let's let him stay. It doesn't look like Brian's going to do any damage to the place. He's respectful and curious. It couldn't hurt to let him stay. Or refuse. He might have the best of intentions, but I made a promise to blind Bob. I'd feel awful if anything happened to Obnaxus's abode. Um... All right. <laughs> so if we click on this, it, it will tell us what most people do. Um, so I'd like to make my decision before I click on this, because oftentimes when I click on this, I change my mind or I question my decision. Um, once I see what everybody else chooses, I'm going to guess that most people allow him to do it since I'm leaning that way. And most choices I've made have been the more popular choices. Um... Hmm. Uh, you know, I, I, to tell you the truth, I'm actually a little bit worried. It seems like maybe more harm can come from leaving him here than not. And how is it going to help us if he stays here? You know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm going to refuse. I'm not going to let him stay. Let's see what most people did. Have the best of intentions, but I made a promise to blind Bob. I'd feel awful if anything happened to Obnaxus's abode. All right, I was wrong. Most I people refused. But I made a promise to blind Bob. Well, I'd feel awful if anything happened to Obnaxus's abode. So I, I, I said I was going to refuse, so I'm going to refuse. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, I don't think I can let you stay in here. I'm not sure I need your permission. Whoa. I... Only joking. <laughs> I understand. Oh. I'll take my leave now, Miss Castillo. I certainly hope we'll see each other again soon. Now, why do you have to get all creepy there, Brian? <laughs> I don't need your permission. Huh. Well, I mean, I don't know. It was a good thing that he showed up. He did help us decipher those notes, but... This place is our responsibility now. And um, like I said, I think that there's maybe more of a chance of something going wrong if we leave him here than not. Or the opposite could happen. I don't know, man. I don't know. But uh, we, have, we have refused to let him stay. And uh, aside from that creepy comment, him trying to be funny, uh, he seemed to be cool about it. So we'll see. Didn't you say something about a wizard and a puppet show? No. No, you did. You said something about a show in the square. I did not. <laughs> Crow. Oh, right, right! Roper Clax's Fingerlings! <laughs> Man, that show's great. A modern classic. Clax. He's the wizard April Ryan fought. That's right. He was behaving badly, so she fought him and trapped him inside some sort of calculating machine. Pretty clever stuff. Where can I find this puppet show? I'll show you. All right. Closed and locked. At least until Abnaxus comes back. Okay. Closed and locked. 
All right, where'd you go, Crow? You go flying off. I can't see you. I don't know where you are. Goal's updated. Find the fingerlings. Oops, that's uh, what I'm going to try to do. Where are the fingerlings? Where'd you go, Crow? I have no idea where he flew off to. And... <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. Um, I said they're maybe they're down here in this square down here where all the shops are. Maybe that's where they are. So let's go down here. Oh, that's blocked off. We can't go that way. Huh. I think that's where... Oh, this looks like a good spot right here, right? Man. What's up, man? Gonna be so. Oh, whoops. What's well, gonna be what? Fingerlings. This is gonna be so good. This is gonna be so good. Where are you, Clax? Hello. Roper Clax. <laughs> uh. Roper Clax, I presume. He looks wizardly. As in, how I expected wizards to look when I... Oh, what is she saying? I should probably go talk to Mr. Clax before his next show begins. Yeah. Let's see if we can get around from the other side. Talk to him. Yeah, there we go. Roper Clax, I presume. He looks wizardly. As in, how I expected wizards to look when I was ten. Yeah. See, so he's got a uh, little tiny puppets, puppets here, and some wine and cheese. If you seek an autograph, you must purchase my book first. It's on sale today. No, only. Sorry, I I need to talk to you. Talk. Hmm? Well, I only have a few minutes before my show begins, but I'm sure I can spare a couple of them for a pretty young thing like you. Hmm. Uh, let's ask him about himself. This has to be the right man. You are Roper Clax, right? The wizard? Who told you that? Hm. Well, that sign, for one. No, the, the wizard part. Who told hm. you? I mean, uh, I'm merely a humble finger puppeteer trying to make an honest living in a cold and heartless world. <laughs> but you were a wizard once. Fully rehabilitated, I don't go anywhere near sorcery, not anymore. You should really read my highly acclaimed and best-selling memoir, <laughs> A Farewell to My Wizarding Ways. It's a thrilling story of redemption and romance, of dashing heroes and wicked villainesses, of flying castles and curious calculating devices. Every word of it as true as the night is dark and the day is bright, of course. <laughs> Hmm. Well, let's ask him about his fingerlings. It's an odd name for a children's puppet show. <laughs> the fingerlings. Ah, my beloved finger puppets, beloved by all children and critics alike. Gilbert Grutton of the Daily Mercurian called my show simply astonishing and wrote that it was quite impossible to look away. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes and like a slow motion cart wreck. <laughs> You see, the fingerlings represent a revolution in finger puppeteering, or as I call it, fingering, uh, oh trademark and patent pending. The women in particular are quite <laughs> ecstatic about it. Good grief. Stay for the show. I guarantee a good time. Uh, Soulstone. Well get right to it, seeing as his show is about to begin. Didn't he and April have some sort of confrontation? Huh. Well, we'll ask him this. Do you remember April Ryan? April Ryan. Oh, yes, of course, absolutely, certainly, naturally, the bit of... <clears throat> the brave young woman who came to my castle and stole it and helped me put my sorceress past behind me. How could I possibly forget? He's not happy about that. Let's let's bother him about it some more. He got some issues with April. I'd be curious to learn more. So, about April. Why, why does everyone want to talk about April Ryan? 
She was just a weak little human who stumbled onto things she didn't... <coughs> no, 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 I must apologize. You see, April and I had some disagreements in the past. I'm past that now. I'm a different person. <laughs> As for April Ryan... Yeah, yeah, she suffered an ignoble death at the hands of other Zadi benefactors. What a shame. What a terrible, terrible shame. <laughs> hmm. Oh, let's get to it. I might as well get right to it, seeing as his show is about to begin. Do you recall owning a soul stone? A soul stone? I... I don't know what you're talking about. I was just wondering, since there are so many impressive tales about your powers where I come from. And where would that be? Um... That was a long time ago. In another life, I've moved on. I'm a different person now in every way. I was just wondering what happened to the stone. She took it, that bitch. Balance? Pardon me? I don't know where that came from. Who? The Yaga. The Wicked Witch of the North, as these simpletons call her. As if they have any idea who and what she truly is. She lurks in Riverwood in the dark places. She feeds on that stone like a... <coughs> Like I said, that's in the past, and I've left it all behind long ago. Now I make an honest living bringing joy to children through my most excellent and revolutionary finger puppet theater. And on that note, I must beg your pardon, young miss. The show is about to begin. <laughs> Can we please talk again afterwards? I have some more questions. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Absolutely after the show. After the show, yes, 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 yes. Toodaloo! Hmm, so somebody named the Yaga yes, here we go. took the stone? This is gonna be so good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and... Well, humans... <laughs> and you, a Zadi soldier standing over there, you're welcome to watch. Just don't rattle your sabers or rustle your suits. Uh, <laughs> welcome to this morning's performance of The Fingerlings. Oh my gosh. Uh, I am your host and puppeteer, Roper Clax, esteemed thespian and raconteur, author and entrepreneur. My book is available for purchase with a free personalized dedication. Speak to me after the show. A donation is both appreciated and expected. Drop your coins into the box after the show. Remember that every iron piece goes towards a good purpose. Woohoo! Go fingerlings! <laughs> My beloved fingerlings! Uncrafted reproductions of renowned actors from across Arcadia immortalized in finger puppet form by skilled artisans. Using only the finest fabrics and natural materials, these lovely creatures are as dear to me as children and as talented and protean as the finest human players. You're all welcome to approach the stage after the show, of course, to admire my finely crafted miniatures up close and intimately. No food, no touching, no children. And now, beloved audience, prepare yourselves for a journey into mystery for a true story of wizardry and magic. I present to you the tale of the good-hearted wizard <laughs> and the villainous winch. <laughs> Once upon a time in the distant north, there lived a kindly old wizard in a wonderful flying castle. This very friendly wizard liked to tease and toy with the people of the land, and sometimes he would do silly things like turn them into stone or furry animals and bottle up the wind. 
Naturally, he meant no harm, and the people of the land love the wizard like they would a grandfather, a very young and very, very handsome grandfather. But one day, an evil sorceress <laughs> from a distant land came to visit the kindly wizard. This ugly, selfish witch didn't understand that the wizard was only trying to make people happy. She used her dark sorcery to steal all of his possessions and trap him inside a tiny little box where the gentle wizard was barely able to breathe. The poor old man was trapped for many moons inside this box before a benevolent wandering god arrived to free him from his prison. The wizard pledged eternal allegiance to the wandering god in return for vengeance against the cruel witch who trapped him. Together they... There he is, Commander. The dangerous loon who's corrupting our youth with his occult finger rings. What? What's this? What? What are you doing? What's going on? You can't... Hey! Hey, hands off! You're teaching children of magic, old man. You ought to know better. Release me, you dishonorable brute! By the authority vested in me by the Greater Azadi Empire and the Emissary, and in accordance with provisional imperial law prohibiting any and all teachings of occult magic, I'm taking you into custody. You can't do this! You don't know who I am! Tell it to the magistrate, wizard. My fingerlings! My precious handcrafted fingerlings! No! Hmm. I cannot believe that they arrested him. What a travesty. It is a travesty. Whoa, hey, Crow. Can I talk to this guy? I cannot believe that they arrested him. What a travesty. Our goals have been updated. Talk to Crow. I cannot believe that they arrested him. What a travesty. I don't think he's alone in there. He has company. Alone in there? There's something wrong with him. When I looked at his face, I saw shadows. Stupid wizard, he's still trapped. But this time he's trapped inside himself. Well, aren't you insightful? I don't think he's alone in there. He has company. Okay, Crow. I didn't see that coming. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. <laughs> I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the Soul Stone. All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. Riverwood? I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas, but I do know something about witches in Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. That witch is toast, of course, but I can probably find my way back to Riverwood. It's north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? Yeah, north. Okay. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. We just need a way to get north that doesn't involve me walking all the way. Or me flying. I'm not flying all that way. I tire easily. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Follow me, Zoe. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's either a cunning plan, or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a cunning plan. Hmm. Okay, well, here we go. Darn it, I wanted to look at the, uh, there was like a mural on the side of Rubber Clocks' thing. I wanted to check it out. Oh, look at this. I still can't believe you pulled off the voice and the whole fake hand thing. The hat looked great on you. Oh, totally. Uh, not so sure about the beard, though. <laughs> My face is itchy. Speaking of faces, I can never show mine in Mercuria again. Not after that last bit we did. If everything goes well, you won't have to. At least we have a ride. Can I trust this thing? They're docile cows, the Elguan. Just leave it to me. Mush, Daisy! Mush! 
Whoa, whoa, I think you're upsetting her. I love. I'll leave the cowgirling to you. I'll fly ahead and scout the terrain instead. Don't <laughs> lose sight of me! <laughs> so it sounds like uh, Zoe and Crow had to perform some kind of elaborate plan to uh, get a hold of that Elguan or whatever it's called. I'm going to uh, stop our play session here. Um, it uh, It's just a good breaking point for me, so we'll stop here and uh, we'll see what happens in the next episode. I hope you'll join me then. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this play session. If you did, won't you be so kind as to let me know by leaving a like. Feel free to leave comments if you wish. I'd love to hear what you think about this uh, this book so far and uh, my playthrough in general. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you'll join me again in the next episode.